All right, everybody, we are back for some more Pixelmon Adventures. It is I, Zalzar, and today we are back on the 1.12 server. So something that I just found out about how the servers are sort of uh, working. Uh, if you actually... Okay, I do have armor. Uh, if you do actually try to... Uh, Yeah, well, that broke. Do I have another pit somewhere? Uh, anyway. So what ended up, uh, so what ends up happening is that for some odd reason, when you try to, uh, move something from 1.16 over to 1.12, in terms of the Pokemon, this is all I moved, uh, what happens is that it breaks everything. Everything just breaks. As if, like, it doesn't deserve to even exist in the first place. So pretty much what ended up happening is that I can't move everybody over. And I don't want to mess around with it any longer. So we're just going to go and leave it right where it is. It's safe. It's on the 1.16 server. It's right where it needs to be. Uh, so, we're only back on this version because of the fact that the newer uh, Pixelmon uh, ver version, the 1.16 version, is what we're talking about here, uh, doesn't have as many gyms as this version does. Very sad, I know. But because it doesn't have very many gyms, it only has like three of them, but I can only ever find the one, which is the grass gym. Uh, we're going to go back onto this version so that we can actually, I don't know, do gyms. And we're already coming close to uh, finishing off everything too. Like as you can see here, we have five gyms. These are probably not in order anyway. But, or the order that we actually got them in, but we have five gym badges. Three more and we're kind of done with dark types as our uh, main type. I know, very sad. But that is exactly what it is though. Like as soon as we're done with all that, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Also, the reason why like everything is uh, taken off of me is because of the fact that like, I had, uh, I used, uh, what's it called? I don't know, actually, I can search it. Uh, I used uh, creative mode just so that I could uh, world edit uh, this structure so that I could have it for the 1.16 world if I really wanted to. But, guess what? Uh, I never put it in, so, yeah. So you'll see, like, the, the that block there. There's, I think, a block here, unless it literally is, like, that block right there. Those are just so, though, it makes it easier for me to grab the, uh, the placements kind of thing. But as I said, I sorted out all of these, all this stuff as much as I could. I have six lucky eggs, man. It's incredible. So, I'm able to also move in one structure. Now, I could just move in the big structure that I want and just call it a day since we're not going to be keeping it for that long. But, I, but I'm but i choosing not to. I'll still bring in the small structure. I just wanted to at least get some videos done. So I at least just wanted to, you know, get this done. And I was hoping to get it done before anything terrible happened. But unfortunately, that never actually. Still want everybody to be a high level. So, so what? Ha so I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens when you ever you uh, port something over from 1.16 to 1.12. So what happens is that everything turns to eggs. It turns into an egg that's just about the hatch kind of thing. So you know that's not a huge problem, but oh, I didn't grab food. Oh, 
Oh, I love flight in this version. Oh my word, it's a lot better. Uh, don't I have like a ton of bread, or is that in the other version? No, it's in the other version. All right, I'll bring the steak and the apples with me. I'll be in my food for a while, I guess. Anyway. Uh, back to what I was saying. So, so yeah, so, like, the new... So, what happens is that, like, all the Pokemon turns into eggs that are about to hatch. And if you try to use the uh, Pokemon editor thing on them, you can't touch them. Like, at all. If you try to right-click them, they don't work properly. You can't change their stats, you can't change their moves, you can't do anything about them. And even if you try to click the change Pokemon thing, it doesn't do anything. So it's like, okay, I can't touch them right now. So what I'm thinking of doing... Is that uh, if you want your Pokemon to be ported over, you can... But if you want to keep porting them over, you're going to have to do some sacrifices kind of thing. So like you can port your 1.12, so like you can port your 1.12 Pokemon over to 1.16, but you can't back port them. So that's very interesting. So I tried everything. I even got the eggs, quote unquote, to hatch. And I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. where I am though in relation to where I was actually going because I wasn't really going anywhere I'll just leave that that way for now okay uh and what happened is that the the Pokemon would hatch and would be the Pokemon that I had originally uh and would be the same level and everything so you know it'd be pretty cool so it works just like normal. And then once you try to send out that Pokemon, it's got no moves. For some odd reason. Oh, I didn't grab any torches or anything like that just to create light. And I have my brightness settings all the way up, right? Yes, I do. Cool. Oh, we're lagging a little bit. Anyway. So again, the like, uh, we're not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. And also, even if I were to, let's say, in this entire session, be able to beat three gyms. Because we're just that, because our team is just that good. Uh, what I'm going to do in that case is that I'll still bring in the ship uh, that I want to bring in. I just won't do anything with it. I'll just immediately just start using the new one. That I will be using. Or technically stealing from, but yeah. Because I'm currently, whoa, whoa, that was weird. Because uh, I'm currently in the progress of actually building something that I'm going to be putting into the 1.16 version. That we'll just be using the 1.12 version to sort of just transport items to that version. And if you want to transport Pokemon, well, it only goes one way kind of thing. So, yeah. Is it Club? Is that the one that makes their... Yeah, that increases their stats. Yeah. Not very useful. Uh, I really want to find a Psychic Gem. I want to see if we can actually take it down, since, like, all of our team members are all Dark-types. 
even though like three of the members do not really have very good uh, dark moves. Oh yeah, something I forgot to do. I mean, I can do it right now. It's not that big of a deal. Ah, citrus berry. Nice. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Oh, this is still isn't fixed? Oh, I thought I did that. All right. Uh, what am I looking for? We're looking for the nature's compass. So we need a sapling, wood, and a compass. Okay. That's not too bad. I can do that. I can literally just chop down that tree right now. Uh, do I even... I don't even have an axe with me, though. Uh, what that compass actually does is it allows you to scan for biomes and it tells you exactly where you uh, where it is in relation of where you are. Which would be kind of helpful because I... Because of... Excuse me. Ah. Because the only place that I've actually seen a psychic gym is in the desert. Which is why I'm trying to find one. Also, I can find desert temples there which are really good for loot. So I also want to go there for that as well. And also not to mention though that like uh, we can get a chance of getting Hoopa as well again. Which is something that I would definitely very much consider. Okay, you know what? Let's go to Spawn. I think Spawn might have some locations that we haven't explored yet. Yeah, I think Spawn might have some have some things that we have never been to. So let's go back to Spawn. Uh, do you guys have a bed that I can borrow? Maybe. Do you have a bed I can borrow? No. Is it only in 1.14 that the villagers had beds in their houses? I thought... No? Okay. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Okay. I mean, there's a... Is this a, considered a desert? I mean, it is. Okay. I don't really know if I would consider it a desert, though. Come on, go up. Conch crow, man, jeez. So, yeah, so I've been hanging around with the 1.16 version because I was told that that was the better version. And that uh, a lot of the functionalities that I wanted in this version are were present on that version. So I wanted to go do some testing on that. Uh, and of course, we are running into several issues with the fact that that version is not as well, uh, I don't want to say well detailed, but well, um, as well done as this one. But I just recently found out that there is actually a different uh, Pokemon Minecraft thing that actually supports the latest game or the latest release and all that stuff. So I'm thinking if I should just port everything over to there instead. Now, if I have to manually add them in, I don't really care. I could just do that on my own time. But... Who knows? It could be potentially very useful. The only thing is that apparently is that they're missing a couple of Pokemon, which is weird. I mean, I kind of understand, like, the Paldean ones. Don't get me wrong. I understand that. You know, Paldean is still new. But this one actually... Oh, I found another orb. Cool. But this one actually supports... Um,
I don't know. Maybe I'll try and see if there's like a mod pack or something like that that I can find of it. And then we can plan around if we want to go through with it. Because this one actually goes with what Pixelmon originally had, which was more of a blocky design. Uh, the new, uh, the one that I'm talking about is named uh, Cobblemon, I think is what it's called. Which it does sound very interesting. Uh, it's got, uh, like, it's still rel like still heavily in development kind of thing. Uh, they have a lot of cool and interesting things that they want to do with it, which is very nice. I very much want to try it out. Uh... As I said that I played uh as I said I played Pixelmon a long time ago back when I think I want to say Gen 3 was the latest but I might be wrong it might have been Gen 4 that might have been like the latest release for it right and cuz the only thing I remember was that like I spawned in a Rayquaza catched it and just started flying around with it because of 